Okay, we're here at 3335 Madeira Avenue in Los Angeles, 90039. Now, we're here to check the main sewer line. We obviously cannot check every pipe in the house. You'll have the general inspector crawl underneath the house. He's physically going to look at everything. We're here to check the main line, and this inspection is based on my opinion. So, we're, there are no main line cleanouts available. Um, so, we're running our camera from a 4-inch roof vent which we like to do anyway because this way we could check as much of the main line underneath the house as well as outside. So we have our camera in the line and we're in 101 feet. It brings us all the way out to the city sewer, the connection to the city in the street. So there you can see the city sewer flowing by. I'm going to bring the camera back now. <clears throat> so here you have a 6 inch clay lateral coming back from the middle of the street towards the property. This, is, this section over here looks like an older clay pipe. I'm pretty sure. Got some, stop. You've definitely got some roots here in the line over here coming through the coupling. And we're going to keep coming back. A little bit of roots through the joint there. This looks like it possibly could be an older concrete pipe. There's roots coming through there. Now that's at the 4 by 6 connection over there at the property line. Um, now we're coming onto the property to a 4 inch clay pipe that runs through the front of the yard. You can see definitely all roots in the line. Now, right over here is where the pipe basically exits the house, right there. Um, <clears throat> we're definitely going to recommend that a clean-out be installed where the pipe exits the house because you're going to need a way to clean out the sewer line from a proper clean-out uh, because those roots in the street are pretty... They need to be hydrogenated and stuff, so definitely going to need a... Definitely going to need a clean-out outside. Now, now this is coming underneath the foundation of the house, the section of cast iron pipe, which actually looks pretty decent. Remember, we're looking at the inside of the pipe. We cannot see the outside, but it definitely is getting old, the pipe. There's no doubt about that, but it, it stopped there. Uh, but it actually appeared to be in pretty fair condition might not be a bad idea to have a two-way clean-out installed just in case and then it comes back to ABS plastic the main line underneath the house here this is all in good condition this was obviously had been replaced at some stage you know what just go forward a little bit I just want to look at that cast iron again because it looks like it might have had a little bit of roots coming into it just keep going because then we're definitely going to recommend it to be replaced. I just want to have a look. Go, go. They're right here. So it looks like it's definitely wearing away there, the pipe. So I think we're going to definitely recommend that that be replaced over there because it does look like some very fine roots coming into the pipe. Now you have this ficus tree outside over here as well which is obviously a very aggressive tree that might have infiltrated that cast iron pipe. So it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to replace that section of cast iron underneath the house to the outside, put a clean out outside if you if you if you replace a cast iron, you can just put one regular clean out going out towards the street and hydrojet the sewer line. That's the minimum that should be done over here. And we'll go ahead and stop the recording over here.